You know, through the years, about 70% of the news stories by leading news organizations in this country that we've reviewed have received unsatisfactory grades for failing to adequately address the cost of the intervention, the treatment, test, product, or procedure that they're reporting on. And with news releases, PR news releases, the score is even worse. More than 90% of the PR news releases that we've reviewed get unsatisfactory grades for adequately discussing the cost of the, of the idea or the approach or the intervention in question. Journalists and PR writers simply have to, in my mind, take some of the responsibility, look in the mirror and say, well, you know what, we're partly responsible for the fact that we spend more in this country on health care than any other country on the face of the earth. Double whoever is in uh, second place. And, and without the return on investment to, to show for that. And we who write about these things are, in my mind, at least partly responsible because we drive patients, news consumers, and healthcare consumers in to see their doctors for care that they probably don't need, wasting, and take that the way it's meant, wasting their own time and the doctor's time having to debunk myths and misunderstandings about things that really have no applicability in their individual life. And there's a cost. As the clock is ticking, there's a cost to that as well. Even in situations where costs are reported, did the story make clear whether insurance is going to cover these costs? And what are the co-pays? All things that we need to think about as, as news consumers and healthcare consumers. Finally, our rule of thumb is if it's not too early to talk about how wonderful a new idea is or might be, it's not too early to start talking about how much it might cost.